or ostriches. I'm not ruling out ostriches because that exists. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Farm Manager 2021. Excited to be playing this. I loved Farm Manager 2018. One of my go-to games when I want to relax and just chill out and have some fun playing on my own time. And I'm very excited to play Farm Manager 2021. I would be remiss if I did not immediately thank a viewer, a longtime supporter of the channel, a very good friend of the channel, for gifting me Farm Manager 2021, sending it along my way. Otherwise, it would not be up on the channel at this moment. She knows who she is. I won't mention names. She knows exactly who she is. So thank you to that viewer, that supporter of the channel, for gifting me Farm Manager 2021. Now, when I got this in my hot little hands, I put up a poll on the channel saying, what should we play? It's definitely going on the channel. There's no question of that. What should we play? Should we do the campaign mode? Should we do the scenario mode? Should we do the free mode? Should we maybe go back to the Grow Nothing challenge that we did on the channel with Farm Manager 2018? And the overwhelming response was free mode. Just get a plot of land and figure it out, Dave, is what we got going on. I did get a comment in the poll suggesting the phrase empire of cheese and i was immediately taken by that i said that's a thing we could definitely work for empire of cheese now is it going to be all cheese based no probably not are we going to get cheese immediately no i doubt it but empire of cheese i I think we could work in that direction. So we will indeed go into free mode, just free play mode here at Dave's Awesome Farm. Thanks to a recent update, we can fine tune free mode a little bit more and I am only gonna do one thing. I'm gonna keep everything exactly where it is in sort of medium mode, medium amount of starting cash, medium amount of animal production, all that sort of thing. I am going to turn electricity off. I have messed around with Farm Manager 2021 in my own time for a couple of hours, actually. I put some, put some time into it, and I found the electricity feature to be a fidgety, fussy mechanic that doesn't add any gameplay value to me. I don't find the game more fun by having to mess around with the electricity. I am keeping the accidents on, and I'm definitely keeping the fires on because it simply would not be a game on the wee hours unless something burst into flame occasionally. So we're going to keep those on. I am going to turn electricity off. I just don't feel like fussing with it. I don't find it particularly fun. All right, we're here. We're here. Everybody put your shoes on. We're at grandma's house. I got a million bucks in the bank and a big house and nothing else. I have nothing going on here. Now, obviously, there have been a lot of changes from Farm Manager 2021 to Farm Manager 2018, and we'll kind of pick those apart as we go along. Some of them I'll be familiar with. Some of them I will have absolutely no clue. You guys should be used to that at this point, but what do I start with here? What am I, what do I got to get going right away? And my first, my first answer is actually research. We should probably just immediately start researching things. Now that's down here these days. Yeah, the little uh, graduation mortar pestle board, whatever. The Anyway, the thing that looks like a learning thing. All right, I got a lot here. Production management, rate of production by 10% up. Warehouse management, storage capacity up. What am I likely to be doing in the near future where I could get some benefit out of research? Reducing the price of machines by 10% would be smart. And then I can go into reducing the price of buildings. That would be super good. We could get down to reducing the price of buildings by 30%. That is not a small amount of money. I'd love to get sales training. Increases the minimum price. We're just flat out always going to make 10% more than what we potentially could. And then keep going down that line. Reducing bills by 2%. That's just solid. That's just money saved every single month. And only takes seven days to do that like that idea machine durability wear of machines we don't we don't really have any machines right now and if i was going to do that i'd probably do the thing where we reduce the cost of them so i didn't pay as much before they wore down or we can get some employee boosts in here that's all good stuff i'm going back to i'm pretty sold on this i am going back to um the 
the thing that I want where I do the thing. Yeah, we're going to start with practical training and negotiation skills, and we're probably going to go quite a bit down this tree because this is just solid as a rock. Take that. Thank you. That's going to take 20 days. Not a small amount of time, especially considering I've got it on pause right now. Alrighty. Now what? I've got to think and that's never never going to work out so well all right let's just go to buildings you know what what can i what can i build these days uh beekeepers yeah beekeepers are solid if i remember farm manager 2018 and i actually do beekeepers are a solid source of income give me warehouses because we're gonna have to store stuff and we don't the only place we have to store it is in my house and i'd prefer not to have a bunch of silage in there if i can help it warehouse does what seeds plants fruits and veg meats dairy bottle jars Basically everything. Basically everything. But the barn is specifically for hay and straw and haylages. Haylages? Is that a word? Is that a real word? Talk to me, farmers. What's a haylage? Anyway, um, put a barn down. Because if we're going Empire of Cheese, well, we're obviously going to have some cows. And cows like hay, I am led to believe. I'm going to put this in a really, really stupid place like maybe way over at the edge, because I just don't like looking at it. Now, let's, you know what? Back that up, Dave. Back, back, back that up a little bit. Let's put that over here. I know you can't do anything with it yet because you don't have a road. Don't worry, it's in pause mode. Don't sweat it, Farm Manager 2021. And then this thing that holds basically everything else. Get me some roads going. Paved road? Yeah, why wouldn't I do a paved road? That seems eminently sensible. I'll save a little room at the end there for decorations because, you know, decorations. Although decorations are not the strongest part of Farm Manager 2021. I think we're all on the same page about that. Let's actually get things going here and they can come along and start building that. Now, when they've got that built, I'm just trying to think of my order of operations here before everything burns to the ground. Let's get an employee hut going on here. Uh, animals, social. Yeah, people. House for permanent employees. Yeah, you live with me forever. You can live in the very tiny house next to my ginormous house. All right, what else do cows like? They like grain. Yeah, they're into grain. How about we did a medium silo? Sort of like here. Wow, I'm just killing the view in my house. I have just, I've wrecked the view. This used to be a beautiful little space here. I got construction workers up here. There's a silo off to the side. That probably looks out from my bedroom. I got to look out at a silo every day. All right. Well, there it is. There's the farming business for you. What else could I theoretically be putting down? My initial, well, manure, definitely, because cows. My initial thought is we're going basically like all animals right now. I'm not doing the grow nothing challenge. We are going to grow things, but not today. Not immediately. I know I don't have any employees. I'll get over there in a sec. Just chill, Farm Manager 2021. So, I want to readdress bees. What if we put down beekeeper, like here, and I got to remember to leave room for the hives. Beekeeper, I think, there and there. Am I tripling up on bees? I'm going to triple up on bees. I want max bee production around here. Now, is there anyone who's actually good at bees? I, I Talk to me. Let's see some resumes, people. Who's good at bees? You're really good at orchards, and you can drive a tractor. No actual apiary experience on the top row here. Who's down here? Okay, you have a beekeeping skill of zero. Don't don't lead with that on your resume when you're applying for a beekeeping job. Hello, sir. I have actually no experience in beekeeping at all. Like, the guy up here, he said he was into orchards. I get that. I understand that. You're applying for a beekeeping job, and you have put on your resume, I have no skill at beekeeping. Now, Hugo here walked in the door and said, you know what? I'm not bad. Me and the bees, we can get along. We can get stuff done around here. Hugo, you're in. Scarlet, you have a modicum of skill in collecting honey from bees. You are in. Anyone else before I take the zero beekeeper? Yes, actually, Amber. Amber, great resume, good interview, really good interview. It's that high endurance. You were able to sit and talk with me for a very, very long time. 
I know we had a good time at that interview. We got a few laughs out of that. I appreciate your casual atmosphere. So, um, yeah, you're in, Amber. Okay, that is three beekeepers. Oh, and my beehives are already done, or my beekeeping houses are already done. Now I gotta buy some hives. Okay. Spin you around. Actually, spin you around again. I liked you the other way. Let's get 10, I believe, is the max that we can get in here. Can I get you up here? I can, but I can't get you over here. A little weird. Must be just slightly too far away from the um, the house. Okay, and you need a person. Hugo, you were first in the door. You're first to get a beekeeping house. You, same deal. Oh, my beehives are all over the map. It's it's not it's not what I want aesthetically, but it'll get the job done. Uh, you can have Scarlet in that house, and you can have Amber in this house. Okay. We have a source of income at this point. Honey always trades well, so we can make some money out of that. And I've got room for what? How many more employees? Five. Five more employees. Alrighty. I think it's time for cows or ostriches. I'm not ruling out ostriches because that exists in Farm Manager 2021. Ostriches. I could, I could breed ostriches. I'm not, I'm coming back to, I keep coming back to ostrich. No, stick to the plan. Or fish, fish are fun. Everybody likes fish, right? No, cow shit, just stick to the plan, Dave. Stick to the plan. Empire of cheese with probably a, an amount of ostriches. An amount of ostriches may happen. How about we started with two cow sheds? Two cow sheds. And um, before I forget, because I totally will... Where's that manure spreading thing? Because we're definitely going to need that. Is that warehouses? Yeah. Not manure spreading, but manure storage. Let's put that right next to the beekeeper hut. So they deeply regret working for me. And while they're building that, let's get some people hired who might be good at animals. Uh, Ira, again, you've showed up with zero skill, but you're applying for the job. Right next to Faith here, who's actually really good at animals. Like, super, super good at animals. So, um, congratulations, Faith. I have room for one more. Oh, there's a good beekeeper. That's all right. Okay, I th stick to three bees for right now. Three bees is a lot of bees. Uh, Carter, beekeeping. Yeah, all the beekeepers are showing up now. Kind of late to the party there, guys. All right, there's no one else who has any animal skill except you, Maya. All right, you're in. That's, that's fine. You're in. And I'm going to take a little bit of money, Maya, to just boost you up a little bit to three. Okay, that'll be better, I think. So let's get you out of there. Before I get cows, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not a farmer. But before I get cow, I'm not a veterinarian either, nor am I a zoologist or anyone who has any understanding of animals. We should probably get food for the animals before the animals. This is a classic mistake I make when I play farm manager is I get a bunch of cows in here and they have no food at all. So let's let's back it up a little bit and actually get food before we get the animals. All right. The thing is, though, I don't know what they eat until I buy them. And then a little thing pops up here and says this is what they eat. I mean, I, I can remember some of them. I know they do silage. I'm pretty sure they do crops. Maybe apples. I'm going to put someone in here. Uh, Faith, that's your house now. Uh, and uh, you, the other guy, Maya. Yeah, you're in too. All right. Well, I need to know what they... I'm pretty sure it's silage. I know they eat grass. Hang on. I'm going to buy some stuff. Yeah, I definitely know that they eat grass. So let's get, I don't know, like 2,000 units of grass. It's grass. It's dirt cheap. It's only costing me 33 whatever that symbol is. It's 33 of those, so yeah, I'm totally doing that. And then I am confident they actually eat silage. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's get I could get I could get organic silage. Would that make the milk better? Probably. It probably would. We'll think about that down the road. But for right now, let's just get a bunch of food in. So how about 2,000 units of silage? Again, dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Uh crops. I'm pretty sure they eat crops, like generic bunch of crops. So how about, ooh, those are a little bit more expensive. 
a little bit more expensive. Still though, I mean, we're, we're going, we're going to feed some cows here. So let's get 2,000 of those. Get those in. Get those in the door. Those will show up fairly soon. And now I think I'm okay to start ordering some cows. Cows or deer? Cows or deer? What would I do with a deer? Probably meat, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, no, so let's just go cows and then get me... I'm going to say four cows in each cow shed. Because I'd like the potential of more cows kind of for free. You know, with biology and whatnot. So some cows will eventually make more cows. And I won't have to kind of pay for them. Might have to pay the vet. So, okay, here we go. Here's your food. Right. Now I know what you eat. You eat silage. You eat grass. You eat crops. Good. I got three out of the five. What else do you eat? Fodder beets. That's like a great band name. Hello, Chicago. We are the fodder beets and oats. Well, you can eat what I gave you, which is that. And then down the road, I might get some of those other things in. We'll see. And uh, same deal for you over here, Sparky. Let's buy you four cows and three more, please. And you can have the food that I bought you and nothing else. Yep, here come the cows. Cows are coming into town here. They want to... Anyone actually put any food in there yet? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nobody's bothered. Oh, it's a beekeeper. Oh, hi. Hello. Hang, hang on. Slow down. I want to look at my beekeeper. Why are you wandering in the middle of the road? That seems inherently unsafe. Because, you know, you got the whole beekeeping suit on, and it's like, with that visor and the mesh, it, I don't think you can see very well. I think your peripheral vision is pretty much tanked. So probably don't run in the middle of the street, especially with an oncoming car. I think I'm about to lose a beekeeper here. Oh, 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 that was so close. So you just got to the sidewalk, man. We should put a crosswalk up or something, or maybe some lights or a stop sign. You know what? I'm going all in. I'm putting a third cow shed down. We're going max cows right now. So let's make it a little different. I don't I don't want it to all look the same. Uh, let's put that right like that. Why? Don't know. Doing it anyway. Okay, uh, let's get a road. Otherwise, nobody's going to able to do the things that they need to do and let's get that to come right down there yeah we're going max cows today anyway i might figure some other stuff out for later i like the new selection of animals there's a lot of crazy stuff in there didn't think i'd be an ostrich farmer might turn out to be so now right at the top of the list here ruby has an acceptable skill in animals you are going to work with some new cows that I've got coming in. You just chill right there, Ruby. They're finishing off the cow shed. Uh, decoratives. Yeah, I, I'm seeing an extraordinary lack of decoratives here. So decorations, not not farm manager's strong suit. Never has been. I like these, though. These are kind of fun. I'm going to put a few of these up. Uh, one there and one here-ish. And then what could I kind of put in the middle there that might be neat? Where was that tree I just saw? Show me that tree again. And yeah, give me... A, oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's much bigger than I thought it was. Can I can I even get that in anywhere? No, never mind. We're going back to the small things. There we go. That tucks in very, very nicely. Okay, it's slightly more colorful. I actually like that. Um, why are you saying you don't have a road? Oh, because I put the road on the wrong side, Dave. Yeah, the, the thing is over here, not over... It's, it's on the wrong side, man. Nobody can get to that building. Okay, that should check off your little box there. Now, how about checking off some cows? So, cow times four, because that will mean more cows later. And you can have the things that I paid for and nothing else. I'll just go ahead and... You know what? I'll get some oats in. Let's just get some oats in. Those are probably pretty darn cheap. So, oats. Yeah, let's get some of those. And what is that? Goat meat. Oh, goat. Yeah. Oh, you, ke you can't spell goat without oat. I hear. I see what you're doing there. Okay. How about 2,000 units of oats? Dirt cheap. Encouraging to see that honey is on the rise. Yep. Yeah, honey is very hot right now. That price is going up on that. Uh, which kind of honey is that? That's buckwheat honey and colza. Ah, that's a problem. We're not going to be making that because we don't have buckwheat or colza fields up. We only have just generic multi-flower honey. Still, though, honey going up in general, that can't be a bad thing. Oh, my cows are here. Cool. Uh, you guys can also have oats. Oh, and you have no worker. Nobody is feeding you. Uh, Ruby, can you hustle over to the new cow shed, please? And you guys, you can have oats now, and you can also have oats. That is excellent quality 
good, good stuff. Yeah, we should get some good yield out of that. Now, have we actually made anything yet that we could sell? We've made, well, okay, we made 34 some odd units of cow's milk. We have made some milk. Well, technically the cows made the milk. I didn't really have much to do with it apart from feeding them. I made 87 units of multi-flower honey. How much is that going for these days? We could get 1,600 to sell that, and the price is going up. I'm going to hold that. It's not going to go bad. It's multi-flower honey. I, it is literally eternal. So it's not like it's going to go anywhere. I'm just going to hold that. We'll accumulate a few more of those. It's not like I'm hurting for money right now. Although, once we start getting into fields and buying machines, that money is going to dry up very quickly. There we go. We made 104 units of milk and 20-some-odd units of boop. Now, should I be getting the veterinary clinic? I honestly have not messed around with this. I, I understand what a veterinarian is, but I don't know how it plays to Farm Manager 2021. Ensure the good condition of our animals and cure them when needed. Do you also deal with the slightly messy breeding aspect of them? Or do you come by and sort of, um, you know, handle that as the case may be? I don't know. Do please let me know in the comments um, how the vet works. I mean, I understand the basic principle of it, obviously. How soon do I need the vet? Do I need to put the vet down right now? Or can I kind of back burner that until we start getting more and more animals and they're going to get sick? I'm having a think about greenhouses. Because that'll be income year-round. Maybe. We'll think about that. I'm just going to put a well down that I don't need. Because it's going to look really pretty right there. Now, I'm going to guess that because this warehouse is refrigerated and can handle frozen food, the milk's not going to go off like it used to in Farm Manager. You have to, I mean, that makes sense. Milk does go off. You have to sell it within a certain amount of time. But this, I don't think that's the case here. If I go to sell... And I look at my milk, there's no going off in a certain amount of time red thing like there was in Farm Manager 2018. It just seems to be here. What can I get for this, by the way? 457? I mean, yeah, what am I sitting on it for? So yeah, go ahead and do that. Up to 109 units. Prices, ooh, we missed a peak there. Missed a bit of a peak on the honey. Coming down a little bit. That's okay. Again, it's going to sit there literally forever. Could I potentially get one more cow shed on the side here? I'm going a little cow crazy. I'm not going to lie. I am. And this will nicely bookend the other one. Mostly I'm putting it down because I just like the way it looks. But we're going to go max cows today. Max cows. Let's just get the milk flowing. I'm going to need somebody to work there anyone really really good with cows you are you have a skill zach you have a skill i'm gonna look at some other people we'll talk again and i'll, I'll let you know the results of the interview process uh so good thank you for coming by thank you for being first in the door i'm gonna see what else is out there so don't um don't get too excited right now uh actually zach you're looking pretty good at the moment you're looking you're, oh hang on hang on lola lola talk to me Oh, four animal skill and some endurance. Uh, sorry, Zach. So, Lola, could you please go work in cow shed number four? And let's get some cows. Because that's that's kind of our plan here. So, three more, four more cows. That's going to be a lot of milk coming in regularly. Okay, that's solid. That is, I like what we're doing here. I'm going to run that road out just because the fact that it doesn't vaguely annoys me. So let's get that to run out like that. And then we can just loop it down here just for convenience and easy access for people. Perfect. How are we doing on that research? I haven't even really... Oh, we're almost done. I haven't really been keeping track of the days. I've been mostly cow-focused. Uh, but yeah, we're actually almost done with that. So that will reduce the price of the machines. Fantastic. And then we could dip our toes into some other cost-saving measures here. I, I'm kind of feeling that sales training one... Just get our minimum price up 10%. That's just flat out more money that we make. Flat out more money. So saving money and making more money. That's my immediate goals. I know that sounds like an actual plan, which would be very unusual. Ah, I've given you no food. I do apologize for that. You can have those ones. You're not getting the fodder beats because those are just weird. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Farm Manager 2021 for today looking at the idea of an empire of cheese not solely cheese not just cows 
I really want to explore some of the other things that have been added to Farm Manager 2021. Lots of new animals. I love the new animals. But we will definitely pick up some more of Farm Manager 2021 next time. Do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of the Empire of Cheese here in Farm Manager 2021. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me. Pablo here is looking for a little, um, little, uh, little favor little financial favor from El Devo Magnifico. Citizens Tropico, everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program.